let me just take a look at women's poverty, which is always, to me, the bellwether of where we are. And what you can see here is that at young ages, up, up to middle age, females are more likely to be poor than men. These are the um, red lines, and they're very high. 21% of women between the ages of 16 and 24 are poor. What's happening in these ages, 16 to 35, where those red lines are so much higher than the black lines? Childbirth and child rearing. And many women, especially at low income levels, are not getting any support for men uh, to raise children, and so that pops them into poverty. Not only are their wages lower, but now they have someone to take care of, and the poverty level is based on the number of people in your family. Now, in the middle years, they're the most equal, and that there are fewer minor children then, and I think women are most likely to be living with men in those middle years. What happens again in old age? Women's poverty outdistances men's because the men die off, the women live longer, they're living on whatever resources the men left them if they were attached to men. And if these were single women, we were, these are all women that we're looking at in these age ranges, but if it were single women only, their poverty rate would be as high as that 21% for the young women. So this is interesting, you know, that we're not doing a good job of public support for caregiving either in the early ages or in the older ages. And this is one reason why I think as a profession, we economists should be focusing more on economics of care. And I can tell you this is beginning to happen. There's now a whole group of academics studying aspects of caregiving.